we are in day one of the norway chess tournament 2022 there are 10 players five games were played today and also there were three armageddons but today we are going to be seeing which one i think anand game against mbr that is maxim marshall legra so anand goes for e4 mbr plays his favorite sicilian knight to f3 b6 and bishop b5 here black has three options to defend this check but mbr goes for bishop to d7 and then there is the trade of the bishops and here you can play d4 but anand chooses c4 so later on he play d4 only but now this pawn is on c4 so these two pawns control d5 now g6 black goes for the dragon variation here white defends his knight in case of any discovered attacks castles castles black goes a6 maybe to stop knight b5 and also maybe play b5 in the future knight to b3 e6 to stop knight d5 we need to now d6 is the weakness so white will try to attack that and black will defend it here and then again gets his knight to d4 which wasted some moves but maybe he felt that this knight on b3 is not doing anything so he got it back to d4 black plays knight d7 activates the bishop maybe he gets his knight to g5 or c5 white just defends his c4 pawn and here black plays b5 now this is not a good move you are sacrificing this pawn maybe mbr felt that his pieces are blocked so he try to open the position by sacrificing a pawn and here you cannot take it with the knight because your rook is unprotected if you take it with the queen then black will get some activity maybe there's rook c5 maybe you play d5 and then you pin this pawn and you will get it back or maybe you can play knight to e5 and centralize your knight so there are a lot of ideas but in the game white did not take the pawn he played queen to d2 and now he defends the rook attacks the pawn and now this pawn is under attack again so black has to defend one of the two pawns he defends the b5 pawn so white just captures the b6 pawn b4 knight e2 knight to e5 rook to d1 he triples up on this file here knight to c6 you cannot take it you lose your queen so white plays e5 further defends this rook and here your knight cannot take it because it's defending this rook so here white goes queen to a7 and queen to f2 and now he is trying to create some pressure on white and trying to get some activity in the position because he knows he's a pawn down here if he just defends then white will convert this game so he's trying to create chances for himself rook c1 and now anand is preparing to take this knight there's no back line mate after he takes this knight for example because we have knight g1 so black has to take this rook because if he moves his knight then he loses the rook so rook takes d6 and white creates a passer knight to e5 h3 rook b5 f4 knight d7 and here white trades the queens because this queen was attacking here and you have to take it because if you don't let's say if you take this knight then this rook c8 if you defend this checkmate which is your only move then the move is not d7 it is rook takes f8 after king takes f8 queen h8 is a mate so black trades the queens and here black plays rook d5 which looks like he'll get the pawn but white goes to capture the b4 pawn black trades one of the pawns so now if we evaluate the position white is a pawn up and here he has two passer pawns on this queen side and he has two pawns on the king side versus black's three pawns but these don't look like they are going to promote so white has to push his pawns and convert this game let's see how anand does it he pushes the pawns defends this b3 pawn black rook goes to a1 and here white plays rook to c7 he cuts off the king and now he will slowly push the pawns and here mbl resigns because he has seen that how white will promote his pawns for those of you who are wondering how will he promote uh, i'll show you if he plays rook to b1 let's say you just push this pawn sacrifice it here you defend your knight your knight is important you cannot sacrifice that and then he has to defend it from here because this square is controlled by the knight so rook b8 a6 rook a8 a7 and now this rook is trapped and he has to stay on this rank now and let's say if black just keeps moving his king just for example the idea is to get the knight and then promote your pawn and this knight also cannot enter to defend it here so anand played this game very smoothly mbr just opened up the position and 
Anand calmly took the pawn, defended his position, created a passer, meant to the end game where he would have two pawns here, which would go to promote in group B. So I hope you enjoyed this game. This is Eric Chess. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in my next video.